Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have another um, makeup video for you guys. And today I used a palette that I have played with a teensy bit but never done like a full blown look with. Um, I do like the look, but there was like a few little like hiccups. But the palette I used was the Jeffree Star Alien palette. This is discontinued, um, and I have two of them. Um, because I bought this one because he did a sale a couple of summers ago. Um, it was a summer my son started in sixth grade. And the Alien palette was like on sale for like $30. So I bought it then. And then it came. And then I got another one in the, um, the little mini. I think it was Valentine's Day, I think. Um, mystery box that he came out with just this last Valentine's Day after he announced that the palette was discontinued so I have two I'm planning on selling it one. I just haven't done it yet anyway that's not what this is about this is the alien palette I really it, the packaging is huge like it's bigger than my head um, I do love it I love the pink faux uh, leather I love the eyes that are like popping out a little and I love that it's the shape of an alien head. I love that so much. Um, mine does have a little bit of like a, where it's coming unglued right there where the magnet is. See? So I kind of, I just slide and up. I don't like pull up on it because that will rip it more. I'm going to probably end up um, putting a couple little teensy tiny dabs of glue to glue that back down. There's a mirror. It's pretty big. And then this is the inside for those of you who may not have seen it yet, but I'm sure everyone has seen it by now. And the look is this. This is one of the very rare occurrences that I feel that my left eye came out better than my right eye. Usually my right eye comes out best because I'm right hand dominant and for some reason whenever I'm doing my makeup if I'm doing my right hand on my right side for some reason it ends up looking better than what I'm doing my left side on my left with my right hand. Anyway if you notice like it's a little bumpy like right there it went up a little bit higher than I wanted and you can't really see it on camera maybe you can a little bit but I have like a little teensy bit like right here like right above my eyeshadow right here. I have a like dry, like a teeny tiny little dry patch of skin and it's like irritating me. Like it doesn't hurt or anything, it's just irritating me because it's there. <laughs> so this is the look, like I said. You can tell the eyeshadow goes up a little bit higher too than I wanted to on both eyes. Like, But at the same time, I feel, because I have pretty hooded eyes, the way that this ended up coming out, you can actually really see it when my eyes are closed. Um, and just for anyone wondering really quick, the lipstick I'm wearing is by MAC. This is the color of Velvet Teddy and this is just an itty bitty baby mini one of it I have. So I really like it. So like I said, the look I actually really like. Um, again, it didn't come out 100% like I wanted, but it came out really nice. So what I used. The first color I took and I just patted it everywhere all over my lid was this one which is called Gravity. And then on my um, outer corner I tapped in some of Phone Home. And then, hold on, and then the shimmer on the inside is this color right here, which is Interstellar. So I use Interstellar, Gravity, and Phone Home. Those are the three shades I used. And like I said, I really like it. I would think I would try to do this look again, but maybe try to get it a little bit uh, cleaner. Um, I also 
because like I said, I ended up using Interstellar, which is looking like really silver on camera, but is actually a little bit more goldy, like champagne-y. Um, but UFO, which is this gold one right here, would have probably also looked good. Um, I was contemplating using Moon Rock there for a minute. And I really, really want to use the color Space Cowboy, but I was afraid that with the two other colors I looked, Space Cowboy might have been a little bit too dark. But you never know. But I do want to try Space Cowboy one day because it looks so good. Probe is also really, really nice. I like Probe too. Alright, so that is my look. Um, I like this look a lot. Um, I think it came out good. I will continue to use and play around with this palette. Um, I have a couple other looks in mind. I even have the same look in mind, but using like a couple of those other shades I mentioned, like using, um, what is it called? Moon Rock? Yeah, using like Moon Rock or UFO instead of Interstellar to see how that goes. So yeah, that is my look. I hope you guys liked it. As always, um... Any constructive criticism is welcome. Um, suggestions for, like, if there's a palette that I say I don't like because whatever, like, pigment or whatever is weird or whatever, or it just doesn't work for me. If you know of a palette that is, like, the same kind of color story but different, you know, like, but a different brand or whatever, let me know. and Maybe I can try that one out. Um, if you have any, like, brush tips or brush recommendations, any eyeshadow recommendations, primer recommendations, anything like that, I am more than welcome, um, or I am more than happy, you are more than welcome, I am more than happy to, you know, look into those or try those out too if I can, you know, because I want to get better and I'm only going to get better if I actually practice. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye!